Hi, this is Gianna from the Charts team. Today, I want to walk you through a demo related to Atlas Charts. Charts is MongoDB Atlas's data visualization tool. With Charts, visualizing data has become faster, easier, and much more powerful. In this demo, I'll focus on the encoding channel of the Chart Builder. If you haven't used Charts before, check out our overview demo linked in the description below. The encoding channel is important because it tells Charts exactly how you want your data visualized. Let's start in the Chart Builder. After creating your dashboard, it's time to make your first chart. For this demo, I'll work with sample data. To find this, first click Add Chart, and then navigate to the Sample tab and pick any data source. For this demo, I'll pick the Internet of Things data source. Once selected, Atlas Charts will now take the sample data and create a list of fields on the left side of the page. Next to this section is our encoding channel, and this is how Charts translates data from your collection to your visualizations. Data appears in your chart based on the channel type selected. There are different channel types that provide different capabilities for visualizing your data. The most common channel types are value channels, which create points on a chart chosen from numeric or date field types, category channels, which can sort string data types, enable binding of numeric data types, and allow for grouping of date data types. Aggregation channels, which can create points on a chart when an aggregation function is applied to a value field. And lastly, geopoint channels, which are points on a chart that are plotted based on the latitude and longitude values of each document. For more information on channel types, check out our documentation also linked below. The IoT dataset contains a lot of information on personal activity, and I'd like to summarize that data in a more visual way. To store that data in a single place, a data table is a great option. To create a data table, let's navigate to chart type and select the table option. In our group section, this is where I'll list all of the string data I want in my chart. So let's start by adding user ID. That's all we need for this section. So let's start adding our numeric data in our value section. I want to showcase the total distance active minutes, and number of steps for each user. For each of these values, we want to aggravate the mean so we can see the average activity for each user. Charts allows users to manipulate fields in three ways. Adding missed fields, adding calculated fields, and changing the type of existing fields. For our data table, we need to add a calculated field, which is an entirely new field users can define themselves. Navigate to the Add Field button, select the calculated toggle, and enter the name of the field. For our data table, we'll call this Total Active Minutes. And now it's time to enter your expression. To create our Total Active Minutes field, we need to add our pre-existing very active minutes, fairly active minutes, and lightly active minutes. Now, you can see that our new field has been created and we can add that to our value channel. And just like our steps total and distance total fields, we'll also aggravate the mean. Now it's time to customize our chart to make it more readable. Users can customize the format and display of their visualizations in all kinds of ways. Some examples being adding data labels, changing chart elements, and other formatting techniques, such as adding conditional format rules. First, let's add a title to our chart. We'll name it Daily Activity Stats by User. And now we can navigate to the Customize tab and do some label overriding. For our user ID group, we can toggle on label override and switch user ID to just user. And there you can see it has updated and our column header. And we can do the same for our total number of steps. Toggle on label override and switch our field name to just steps. And off camera, I'll do the same with distance and total number of active minutes. Lastly, for our distance column, 
Let's round our data to make it more readable. By default, Charts rounds your data to the first two decimal places, but you have the option to either add a decimal place or remove them to as far as you like. And just like that, your data table is done. To save your chart, navigate to the Save and Close button in the corner and click it. And here you can find your newly made chart in your dashboard. Now let's recap everything we talked about. We went over the encoding channel in the chart builder and how the different types of channels provide different capabilities for visualizing your data. The most common channel types are value channels, category channels, aggregation channels, and lastly, geopoint channels. Most of your charts will ask for these channel types and your experience making other visualizations will be as smooth as us creating our first data table together. Understanding how our encoding channel works is the best way to feel confident in your visualizations because charts exist to visualize your data in the way you want it visualized. We also added a new field and we also explored the other customization abilities that you should have as well in charts. Thank you for tuning in.